Thursday morning. Fred's not at the top of his game. Today, it's the morning after the night before. So Fred's not exactly prepared to grasp the subtleties of the reference list he has to dissect. Fred took it upon himself to ask his roommate for a hand. Tu souffres. Hein? Bon, ok, je t'explique. Tu passes l'aspirateur en rentrant parce que le salon c'est une vraie porcherie. Bon, tout d'abord, il faut savoir qu'une bibliographie regroupe une grande variété de Chapitre, contribution, colloque, son, image. T'as compris? For the layman, or someone a bit lethargic like you are, Fred, a reference list can seem as impenetrable as a Latin grammar book. The undistinguished eye often has trouble seeing how to decode this mass of sources. Let's take a closer look. First, as Anna explained, a reference list gathers a wide variety of types of sources. It's possible to organize a reference list in several different ways. By alphabetical order, by author or title, by publication date, chronological or reverse, by subject, to organize and subdivide a reference list with a large number of sources. In fact, each discipline and each professor chooses the system best adapted to the subject. There are also different models of bibliographies, each with their own style. Let's go back to the reference list example that Fred has. To get oriented, you have to recognize the visual clues that allow you to distinguish between types of sources. As for you, how do you do it? Do you have any tips to tell apart a journal article from a book in the list of sources recommended by a professor for a course? In the real world, how do we do it? Here are three examples. What differences do you see? In the first example, there is only one title, therefore, it's a book. In this example, there is a volume, a journal title, and page numbers. Therefore, this one is an article. In the last example, there is the word in, the title of a work, and page numbers. Therefore, this one is a book chapter. Clues like a title or an editor can help you differentiate between references, whatever the style used – APA, Chicago, or Vancouver. In the end, recognizing the types of sources in a reference list will help you avoid unwanted surprises and understand what you might find. <laughs>